You can buy expensive car seats or spend a few quid, I don't know, about a fiver and get one of these. This is just a fitted sheet is that what from that a bed. Like yeah, a fitted sheet. Just pop it over there. You will have to cut the sheet, so you won't be able to use it after. And you can just to get the, uh, uh, the seatbelt seat seat. through. What a brilliant idea, particularly yeah. after you've been down to the beach and they're all covered in sand. Yes, absolutely. And then at the end of it, just whip it off, shake it out, and then your seats are nice and clear. That's brilliant. Good. Good. And also in the summer when your seats get hot. Uh, yes, true. So you don't yes, burn if you've your got bum those... on the leather seats. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're in shorts or something. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Like that. Now, should we have an ice lolly? I've been keeping these nice and cool in here, actually. Ice lollies, melting, mm. dripping ice lollies, can be a bit of a nightmare unless you've got cupcake cases. So all you need to do <gasps> is cut a little hole in the bottom of your cupcake case, eat your lolly, and it'll collect the juice in and actually That's drink clever. the juice at the end. That's which is really, really nice. clever. Mm. Well, I've doubled up here, so I've got two just to make it more steady, because these are the paper ones. They don't weigh anything, so you can just shove them in your, in your bag. It's not going to make any excess weight. And when you get to the bottom of your lolly, you just lower your case down a little bit. Yes, absolutely, yeah, just move it down. You can use foil ones as well of these, which are even uh, sturdier, because yeah, these eventually, okay. once they get really wet, will, will you know, collapse. But it'll last long enough to, to eat your lolly. It'll last as long as the lolly will. And I tell you what you can do, when you finish them with your, with your lolly stick, if you're still at home, take it out, write what the plant is that you've got in your plant pot and put it in your plant pot so you can actually have a little marker there, which Clever is quite nice. Uh, now, um, do you want to see how I kept these uh, Lolly's cool. I need to get just into this little gap here because how about a homemade ice pack? Now, instead of buying those plastic ones that you freeze, why not get a sponge? Fill the sponge with water, put it in a sealed bag like that, put it in the freezer, and that is your ice pack. And the water will just collect in the bottom of the bag. It's nice oh, and cool. Fill that's that a one. very good this idea. This one's frozen. Can I really tell you another one? Yeah. Get a bottle of water that you've already drunk, fill it with water, put it in the freezer. Obviously, not too much because it'll yeah, explode. Yeah, and then you put it in your freeze bag, and then by the time you come for lunch, it's turned into ice cold water. Yes. And you can drink it as well as have cold sandwiches. Nice. It's good. I it. Full of them. So this will keep stuff cold, but also them. for that injury that's bound to happen with one of the kids, or even me, I do it all the time. You've got an ice pack to pop on your ankle when no. you twist it on the beach, on the pebbles or whatever, which is quite good fun. It's good. <laughs> all right, now let's talk about somewhere to put your valuables on the beach. Um, so I've got some money hidden. This is a sun cream bottle. It's not the spray type, it's the squeezy type. So what you can do is actually just cut the inner part off, you know, where the little nozzle is, mm. and then you can hide your stuff in. So we've got some this morning money. When, uh, when my <laughs> youngest daughter went backpacking in Thailand, we, uh, we took out the insides of a lip salve and rolled up rolled it. emergency money it's and perfect. jammed it in there. That's a really good It's idea. really good, isn't it? You can, if you don't want to make one, you can buy one. This is the tan safe. It's 7 99 from Firebox. Looks like sun cream, but actually it's not. So if you, oh, and you look your inside phone there, in there, there's my phone. Wonderful. There it is, which is good. That's I'm going to use that in a minute as well to show you something else. But I did promise you I'd show you, you know a way... You know what's going to happen now, though? The thieves are going to come along the beach and they're just going to nick all your sun cream <laughs> in the hope that there might be something inside other than sun cream. Yes. Yeah. Well, or you'll, you'll get sunburnt then. It'll be awful, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Uh, now, uh, uh, transporting necklaces. So tangled balls of necklaces, really, really annoying. Um, you can undo a tangled necklace. We did that before, didn't we? Tap with um, powder. Yeah. Baby powder is great for and that. And two pins. Y yes, That's two pins. That's how I do my girls at home. But you can do this. So actually use straws. So this is one necklace. I've used two straws. Just feed it through and then do the clasp up and it's just a really easy way of transporting your necklaces. That's don't a good get tangled. idea. Um, for, for things like bracelets or small little necklaces, just use one straw. It's really, yeah. really straightforward. It's so simple, Clever. honestly. You must do it. Uh, and also, um, th these are pill boxes, you know, with the days of the week on? Mm -hmm. Put your... Um, earrings and stuff, but your tiny bits of jewellery in there as well. It's really quite Yay. handy. It's nice. You can also use things like this as well. That's like a vitamin bottle to put your rings and stuff in. And we've got some rings in that one there. Oh, it's just a really yeah. handy way of... You travel with a lot of jewellery. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, phones. Um, you might want some music wherever you are on holiday. Uh, you can obviously get your iPod Touch or whatever smartphone you're using. Mm. I'm actually going to play a song now and I'm going to show you a way of making a speaker. So look at this. This is a cardboard roll from the inside of a, of a loo roll. Little diagonal, um, sorry, not diagonal, a rectangular hole cut in the top. And on the back, I've just put little drawing pins so it mm -hmm. stops it from rolling over. rolling over. So let's start the music. Got a bit of Alicia Dixon. Nice. Yeah. So you can hear that now. And then let's put it into the roll. Hang on, ready? It does amplify it. Amplifier. It amplifies it, so the sound is coming out the side. And there is something else you can do as well, if you want. If you want to get a little bit more creative, <laughs> use a couple of paper cups. Here we go, you ready? There you go, feed the... And then your sound is coming forwards. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe that actually works. It does, it's fantastic. Make and it when, when you're, you're away. on the beach and you want to look at the boats, you can... <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's brilliant. 
you should have cut holes in the yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Holly, you're amazing. Thanks. Oh, that is brilliant. All right, good, good. What else? All right, uh, do you ever get frizzy hair on the beach? I do, of <clears> course. <throat> right, so what you need is something that would create a barrier from the humidity and the moisture, because right. that it makes your hair fibres swell. That's why you get frizzy oh. hair. So the thing that you want to use is coconut oil. Oh, coconut the dream oils. stuff. Yeah, it's really good for that. So I've actually made up a little mixture here. In this little tiny spray, it's about two to three teaspoons of coconut oil with warm water, because the warm water will dissolve it. Yeah. And you can put lemon in if you want, because it'll lighten your hair if you ah. ever dare do that. I mean, we've all know people who've done that in the past. Well, well, that's what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tread carefully, folks. Okay. <laughs> and it smells really nice as well. Have a little smell of that. Just spray it on my hand. It smells oh, lovely. lovely. I love and the also coconut probably smell. very conditioning for your hair also yes, at the same good. time. It's good for it. Do, um, do the sand Yes, quickly. okay. So if you've got wet sand, I know my youngest Holly, she cannot stand it when she gets um, sandy feet at the end of the day on Sorry the beach. Sorry about that, so. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> so here you go, I'm just going to wet my hands. The best thing to do for that, so when you've got wet sand on your feet, you can try and just towel it off, but the thing to use is baby powder. Baby powder takes moisture away from your skin. So that's what it does. So baby powder all over. Yes, you've got to bring baby powder to the beach, but honestly, for the, uh, for the lack of whinging, it's worth it. So let that just soak in and then it, look, it just towels off. It's absolutely brilliant. It really, really works. And that's how you do it. You can that also use... It come off if you just towed it off anyway. No, you just no, say to your kids, really stuck let you. it dry, it'll be fine in a minute. Yes, deal with it, that's what I say. But it, but it does, smells nice. It, it smells lovely and it does work. You can also use corn flour, but you're not really going to take corn flour to the beach. No. It does a similar thing. Similar thing. For more of the same, just click here. So Is it no. every psychic banana, banana answer No, let me yes. try this banana. No! <gasps> it's amazing! <laughs> It's amazing.